Hey hi YouTube, I hope you all guys are doing great. In this video we are going to see about output parsers. Uh, output parsers are really really important because what I have felt in my professional journey is that whenever you create some LLM applications, there are a lot of uncertainties in the formatting of that output. For example, let's suppose you want a response in JSON format, but if you have done enough experimentation with like models like GPT 3.5 Turbo, so a lot of time instead of giving the answers in JSON format that you have asked for, it gives in the paragraph format or the mix, like it will give some explanation with the JSON format also. So it's very important to have a certain format uh, on which you want your answers. So in the world of LLM like GPT 3.5, parsers play a very crucial role. When working with LLMs, uh, one quickly realizes that asking for the same question twice might lead uh, or ill different uh, response with varying formats. Okay, for instance, when requesting a recipe, the model might sometimes list preparation first, uh, while other times it starts with ingredients. Okay, it depends because it is generative AI. It's not like you have a perfect format for answering. Okay, this variability is due to generative natures of LLM which are not deterministic okay so while this might be ex acceptable for uh, human readers but it poses a challenge when we need machines to process these responses so this would uh, that's why the parcels come into the picture so parcels help us to make sense of this varied output ensuring the machines can understand and work with different information provided by lms effectively okay so um, you can read all these things about output parsers in this LangChain website. It's a pretty cool website and definitely everything is very uh, crystal clear and very simple language. So it's just a way to format your response. Okay. So there are a lot of different types of uh, parsers are there. So it's a very, very beautiful table so that uh, you can have a quick look like which output parser you should be using in your use case. So there are a lot of different output parsers and definitely we are going to see that uh, a couple of output parsers in the demo video. So it has uh, basically seven columns. First one is name, very clear the name of the output parser. Okay. The second one is support streaming. So uh, whether the output parser supports streaming or not in my demo, I will show you what actually is the streaming. But if you have enough uh, experience with LangChain, definitely you will be knowing what is streaming, like invoke streaming, all these things. Okay, batch processing kind of. Then has format instructions. So whether the output parser ha has format instructions or not, this is generally available. Uh, like um, when the desired schema is not specified in the prompt but rather in other parameters okay uh, like open ai function calling okay uh, when the output parser wraps another output parser okay and second one is calls llm so whether this output parser itself call an llm this is usually only done by output parser that attempt to correct the mis uh, in formatted output so here you can see like in output fixing and read uh, retry with error so if your response is wrong then you can have another llm call and you can improve it okay so that is also available and then uh, the input type so the expected input type um, uh, most output parsers work on both strings and messages but some like open ai functions here you can see okay uh, need a message with specific quarks also okay uh, then output type so which kind of output they return for example if you see json formatted then it will give json object as return okay if you will use like structured format it will give a dictionary okay then the description is like um, the uh, uh, their commentary uh, on this output parser and when to use it so you can just go through it um, and just then you can find which output parser will be good for your use case because it's not like uh, for every use case a single output parser will work okay so uh, we will see a couple of uh, output parser in the next demo section and definitely it will give you idea and then you will know that how you can use uh, the output parsers okay so that if i can I, it's hard to cover all the output parser in just a video and it will be redundant also if i can explain two or three um, output parser it will be well enough so that you can um, just experiment with others okay so now let's see some demo okay so first one is that we are going to explore is json output parser okay 
so uh, what actually we need in this json output parser is just uh, json output parser prompt template just to create prompt basic lang chain then we need base model because uh, from pydentic and we just want a uh, open ai model the chat open ai so let me run it and let's see okay so you need open ai key because i am using open ai models so you can use any kind of other models also okay so i'm going to use gpt 3.5 turbo 1106 now uh, in this json output response i want two things whenever user will ask the question i want the exact answer to the question and second one is the source of source website of the answer okay so i want the answer in json format there will be two keys first one is answer and second one is source and uh, uh, basically this is the description of the field okay so basically if you don't know about pydentic uh, you can explore it will be hard to uh, teach pydentic in this video okay so first i just give you a basic in, uh, intro to it like uh, the first line which is class answer with source base model so this defines a new class answer with source that inherits from base model and the base model is from the pydentic v1 okay um uh, so this class is used to define a data model for answers uh, with two fields okay for the first one is uh, answer and second one is source okay uh, then we are setting up a parser and uh, injecting the instruction into the prompt template okay so uh, if you see this line json is equals to json output uh, parser pydentic object is, uh, is equals to answer with source so this line creates an instance of json output parser and assigns it to a variable parser it is configured to use answer with source class as a pydentic object uh, for parsing json output then second one is json uh, sorry format response parser which is parser dot get format instructions so this line calls the get format instructions method of the parser object and assigns the result of the variable uh, format uh, response parser this is likely used to get the formatting instructions uh, for the response okay so like uh, this get format instruction is a method which returns a string containing instructions or for how the output of a language model should be formatted okay so uh, let me also print this so that you can see okay what actually parser is okay so let's print it so here you can see it is giving an object okay so it's a pyrentic object okay then uh, let's see what actually format uh, response parser is so this is basically this is what i was talking about okay so it returns a string containing instruction for how the output of a language model should be formatted okay this is just a string okay so i'm deleting it as of now okay so now just we are creating a template answer the uh, query we are passing some format instructions so uh, we will be seeing we will be passing this format instructions as a input variable and then we are having question okay basic very basic prompt template you can create any kind of template i think you would be knowing uh, what actually prompt template what are chains what are LLM models if you are watching this video okay then we are creating a prompt okay this is just a string now we are creating a prompt from it so we are passing into prompt template uh, template this template and input variables we would just want one input variables and one partial variable so which will be the format instruction and we are passing this format response parser here okay very straightforward this is just a syntax that you can also find in the langchain website then we are creating a uh, chain if you are not aware of creating chain like this then um, you should learn about lcl which is basically a syntax to create like chain applications uh, declarative syntax okay so you should explore about lcl it uh, makes life quite quite easy so this is how we can create a chain we are passing prompt llm model and the parser okay so now let's run it and now let's ask some question like i'm asking a question who won the first ipl so if you don't know about ipl it's a cricket league in india okay so let's run it so we got our answer which is rajasthan royals and let's see whether this source is correct or not so if i clicked it so here i am okay and here you can see there there will be somewhere uh, it has been written like uh, who won the first ipl okay quite good one okay so this is how we can get the source also okay so this is what we wanted okay so i think uh, we can ask some more questions also like uh, let's ask some more question like uh, who is the or we can say what is the capital of japan okay my favorite question 
so what is the capital of japan so it give uh, tokyo and there is a uh, source is also given which is from the wikipedia okay so there, definitely there will be the capital in this you can find it okay so this is how and now what the bonus is that what the advantage is every time in the response you will get this two two keys answer source answer source okay uh, currently this is this is very easy scenario this is very basic questions uh, this is uh, a very very basic setup so you might not feel the um, importance of it but when you will create some quite large applications then lot of time you need some formatted output there you will feel that okay i need this kind of thing so that's why i'm explaining you this is really really important okay and also uh, this um, also support streaming so like again we are asking the same question who won the first ipl uh, let me change the question okay um, what is the gdp of india okay let's see okay it's also support streaming so streaming means uh, like you might have seen in chat gpt the answer comes uh, letter by letter okay so this is how it looks like the gdp of india is this 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 okay so the rest uh, the source is this the worldbank.org okay so this is how you can create a json uh, output parser okay and also you can create it without pedantic objects okay so this is how we are creating a just json output uh, parser uh, the prompt template chain and just like uh, why amazon is uh, let's ask me a question why amazon is better than flipkart okay so um, here you can see like the answer it gave and the source any uh, this is a subject to question and does not have any specific source for the answer okay uh, you can also create json output parser without a uh, pedantic object but it doesn't ensure that every time you will get the response in the um, uh, in the desired format okay so that's why it's better to use this pedantic object whenever you want answer in a perfect formatted way okay that uh, let's suppose in the json always you need this two key so definitely you should use the pedantic objects okay so this is one way to create output parser let's see second one structured output parser which is heavily used so it needs uh, we have to import this response schema and structured output parser which is defined in langchain dot output dot parses dot structured okay now uh, we are creating two uh, three response schema now first one is uh, the name is answer and the description is answer to the user question second response schema is um, the name is source the description is source used to answer it's not the link okay and the third one is uh, source with link description is source used to answer the user question should be a website okay so let's run it okay now we are creating an array of uh, this response schema that we have created and then we then we are creating a parser structured output parser dot uh, from response schemas okay and so we are passing this response schema let's run it and then again we are just using the get format instruction that we have already used so this is basically a method which used to which returns a string okay so let's run it and if you want to also see this let me show it okay so de definitely it will give uh, output okay so let me clear it okay uh, now uh, we are creating a template whose name is structure structured output response format template answer the query format instruction and question very basic okay then we are creating a prompt template prompt out of it out of this string we are creating a prompt so in template i am passing this template and input variables we need one in question and then a partial variable which is format instructions we are passing this one okay then we are creating again a chain which is in lcl syntax we are passing this prompt sorry this prompt and then we are passing llm open ai that llm we have defined then structure output parser this parser we are passing okay simple this is not the parser no? this is the string because i have uh, if you want to see also uh, i've just shown you let me show it again structured output response this is string okay this is not the object okay if i just want to show you uh, about a structured output parser so basically this is an object okay so that's why we need this one not this one okay don't get confused okay so let me run it and now if i ask a question uh, to this chain uh, who is the captain of indian cricket team uh, so it will give us a response with having three keys okay first it it, it basically it uh, gives a it returns a dictionary which you can also find it in the um, 
in the website of Langchain. Okay. So answer the current captain of Indian cricket team is Virat Kohli. Now it has changed, but I think it is having old data. Now source is various sports news website and source with link so if i go here i can find uh, the information okay so it has extracted from there okay uh, we can ask some more questions also like let me ask some more questions um, uh, what it can be like um let me ask um what is the what is the fastest animal in the world okay so let's see okay so the fastest animal in the world is uh, this falcon <laughs> which can reach up to 250 240 miles per hour uh, when diving so its source is national geographic and the channel uh, the link is also of national geographic okay so this is where it is so it can be very very helpful when you need structured answer okay and it also supports stream so you can I, you can just uh, use the stream one okay if you want your answer in an animated way and one by one if you want your answer okay so th this structured uh, format uh, sorry output parser or json output parsers are really really very cool thing to use and this is very very helpful okay you can just go through this table and you can explore a lot of different um, uh, output parsers okay just you can go here and in the types you can see all the output parsers are there so i have given you how to use two of them and the rest are the same okay they follow the same pattern okay everywhere you have to define the parser you have to get a string out of it using get format rest instruction you have to pass it into the um, um what you can say partial variables you can create a chain you can invoke you can stream okay so that's it if you like this video please um, uh, share with your friends and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section uh, we bring a lot of videos uh, online chain okay so if you are interested you can subscribe the channel and thank you meet you in the next video till then bye bye